Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to use your Zoom G3X end pedal. Um, connect to the computer and use the Zoom Lab to add extra pedals or effects or whatever you want to do um, and update your pedal board or your not pedal board, your little pedal um, system. So first you're going to need to have the, G the Zoom G3X or whatever version you have. I think it's G5 and there's the G3X N, which I have the G3X N. Um, there's a few different versions, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get that. Okay, and once you have that, you're going to want to head over to Zoom G3X N. I'll put the link in the description of this video. But if you just want to, if you just search Zoom G3X N, it's like the first link. I'll go back to it. The first link, and then you go to Downloads. Right here, they'll have all these things right here. You want to scroll down to Software. You can download the firmware to update your device because I believe it's version 1.0. Um, this one's 1.10, you know, it's an update. I think there were some problems with some crashes or something like that. But what you're going to do is you're going to want to download the Guitar Lab. And you're going to go through all that and download it. And then when you're done with that, it's going to look, like, it's going to look like probably something like this. If your device isn't loaded, it's not going to have anything on there. It's going to wait for you to load it in. So you want to get that one. And there's additional patches you can get from... Some of these players, like they have, um, they have the Vinny Valentino ones right here. Vinny Valentino, Kiko Luriel, um, Paul Reed, and then they got some um, patches created by the actual company, S Zoom. So Zoom created. They have some up to July 2017, which is just a few months ago. Um, so yeah, you can open those up if you want to, but we'll get to that in a second. So what you want to do is you want to get your um, pedal board on the floor. I have mine right next to me. You're going to plug the power in and then you're going to plug in a USB cable into the back, um, into the USB slot. You make it pretty simple. You plug it into your computer and once it's in your computer you turn it on and it should pop up and it'll load for a second. I'll say PC mode. Um, I kind of forget how you're supposed to update it but it was really simple and it was really easy. Um, I think you just download the software and you might run it or something like that and it'll say, hey, you want to update it? Because I think the device will just somehow know. I might also be wrong though. Yeah, the B3N is the other ones on there. But anyways, um, once you have it loaded and connected, it should pop up like this. Um, it might not have everything on here like this. It might have a few missing. But what you'll see to the side in the effect pool is you'll see like new. And you can download G5N ones, uh, at least on the G3XN one. And I'm pretty sure the G3N would probably let you do too. But the only thing that's different is we have pedals pedal. I think the G3N and the B3N I'm assuming probably doesn't have a pedal and I think the G5N does have a pedal. But um, you'll see them here and you can open them up and click on it and you'll see loaded device which will download it. I have everything, I have all the options you can get on here, the effects, and I'm only at 62% memory used so you can download every single one of them on there that you want and it will be loaded to your device and you can add them to your pedals like you know you normally would. But anyways, once you do that, you just it'll load and you can sit there and update it and get the pedals and effects. And that's that's basically that for that one. That's for the effects side. But if we go to the patch, the patch settings over here will let you look at all your settings you have right here. You got 150 patches in the G, uh, G3XN. So you get all these. These are the ones I use the most back here and the ones at the very beginning. But, um,. I'll show you how to use the patch tool in a second. So, like I said at the website, if you go to this website, you can download these patches. All these you can download them. Okay, all these right here are just additional patches that people have created or Zoom has created. But they have they have a few new ones. They have three new ones I don't have on mine, so I'm gonna do this real quick. So I just open the folders up. I'll open the one too. Okay, I'll minimize this one. I have it on my second monitor. And what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have to extract them. Um, I'm just going to drag it to my desktop because I know it extracts it like that for me. So now that's extracted. I'm going to do it for the other one too. That one's extracted. And then you open them up. You go to the Zoom Guitar Lab patch data. Okay. Then you open the Zoom Lab. You go to your patch right here. Now if I select the folder, you copy all these ZPTC folder uh, files. I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom. Oh. You just drag and drop them over here into this sidebar. New patch group. Um, what's this called? This one was the uh, July 2017. So I'm just gonna name it Zoom July 2017. 
Oh. And now that it's over here in your patch pool, and if you want to add it to a patch, of course, that didn't change, was it? No, okay. Not to say, maybe how upset. Okay, if you want to add it to a patch, you just choose one, like this JS boogie, drag and drop it over here, and patch 111, and now the JS, J, the JS boogie's over here. So this is Joe Satriani inspired. You can double tap it and rename it if you want to. Click right here and rename the comment or the description of the patch. And that's pretty much all you need for that resonator. Nope. So I'll just go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and add a few of them. So there's that one, and I'll go ahead and do the second one that I have because I need it done anyways. So I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? This one up. This one's April. Did I already do April? No, but did July. So this is backwards. Ooh, I'm not gonna like that. Oh well. We'll um go ahead and just drag and drop them. Yep. Go up to the folder, top one, CPTC files. Drag and drop it. And I'm gonna. I just like having it all tidy. April. Uh, zoom, zoom, April 2017. And now, if you were to, if you were to, um, drag and drop any of these that you want on there, yeah, I'll go and take. I guess I'll go and take a take back out. Take one of those. Oh, my, my only thing is I don't like. I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not, so I'm gonna have to come back in here and delete them here in a little bit. Because I was just cleaning up because I had all these filled up with uh, extra petals and. For what I do, it doesn't sound like anything I'd want to mess with. So I just, I like creating my own kind of, going throughout the settings, I have a few. But anyways, what you do is, now that you have this in here, you can click on this little arrow right here. Do you believe? Yep. It disconnected it. Now I can safely, you know, because you want to be safe, unplug it, the device, from the computer, and I can go put it back next to my amp, plug in my guitar in, and on patch 100 and something that I had that put on, it will be there. And that's pretty much it for this video. So you just need to have the Guitar Lab, which was that one device, that one software I opened up for you. And if you want the additional patches, you can have them. It's not, you know, it's, it's completely optional. But if you want to get like the extra um, amps, or amp simulators and pedals and just all the extra little effects that they have on there because there are there there is actually quite a few that you don't have on your device since they're new and they came out recently. So if you want more toys to mess around with, go ahead and grab them because it's all free. So you know why not? But I hope this video helped you today, and I'll see you in the next one.